support the bond because it's been five years since the district uh, raised money from the taxpayers in order to support critical capital needs in the school district. Uh, the proposed bond is $450 million, $320 million of which will go to critical maintenance needs that if we don't fix now, we'll only get more expensive later. The $320 million of the $450 million goes to uh, compliance with codes, health safety issues, fire uh, suppression, and uh, to fixing roofs that are aging and boilers and things like that. Um, the rest of it goes to uh, uh, making our classrooms and our schools uh, places that really are 21st century learning environments. So we have some that we're spending on technology upgrades for schools and classrooms. Uh, it will allow us to finish our playground initiative across the school district. We'll complete the learning landscapes in Denver. We're only building two new schools. One is a, a high school in far northeast Denver, and one is a K-8 school in far northeast Denver. But the bond touches every single school in the Denver public schools. Uh, Economic times are incredibly tough, and it's one of the reasons why um, the Citizens Committee that uh, worked on the bond uh, uh, came down to the $450 million number from what had originally been a $700 million number. What, what this $450 million represents to Denver taxpayers is uh, $12 a year or $1 a month on uh, the median priced uh, home in Denver. Um, it means uh, 42 cents for every 100,000, 42 cents a month for every $100,000 of value in our house.